In this quick SketchUp tutorial video, Interior Designers will learn how to create molding profiles that can be used to create accurate baseboards, wall bases, crown molding, and so forth in your projects. No room is complete without those finishing touches, especially in 3D. So in this tutorial, you will learn how to find your profile, how to import it into SketchUp, and then how to create that template that you can use along with your Follow Me tool to create molding in any room. I'm Jacqueline Green from GAI's Behind the Design, where we are helping build a stronger design community by reimagining training, education, and support for interior designers. Now if you're ready, let's get started. Okay, first you want to determine or find your template. I just did a quick search in Google and found uh, different ones here where you can see the side profile and you really want it to look straight on on that profile. So you can see that you can actually look and find the profiles directly related to the molding if you're buying that at a specific place. Or there are other ones that are, you know, like this one where it's very similar to popular ones. In this case, I put MDF baseboards trim profiles. Um, it's, it really doesn't matter. We're going to resize it once we get it into SketchUp. Now that you've saved your profiles and make sure you've saved that as a JPEG or a PNG. You don't want to save it as a web file. For some reason that confuses SketchUp. So now that we have that saved, we're going to import. And if you remember, we go to file, we go to import, and then we find our baseboard profile that we chose. You're going to actually import it as an image and you're going to just say import. Now click on the corner. I did the origins there. Pull up and then just click again to resize. Now here's the thing, don't worry about the size because we're actually gonna resize it here. Now in this case, if I want to do this, um, my baseboard or my wall base at five inches, then I'm gonna take this tape measure and I'm going to click into this corner right here and then click here at the top where I know it's going to be five inches, click again, and then I just type five, enter. It'll ask me, do I want to resize, resize the whole model? Yes, I do. Hit the space bar to get out of the command. Now I'm going to use my drawing tools to actually draw this particular molding profile. And so the point here is I'm creating that profile and that face so that I can use that with the follow me tool. Because remember with the follow me tool, you have to have a face and then you have to have a path. And we're not going to go completely into the follow me tool, but I'm just going to show you how to prepare your template. Now here we go to, let's try the drawing tool. I like to zoom in. Don't be afraid to zoom in. Make sure you stay on your axes. And I created this yesterday. Even I sometimes forget, oh yeah, we got to make sure we're on our axes because I had one of these little curves going way off. You may have a little bit, like you can see, this isn't exactly in the perfect spot, but it's going to give me the general direction. I can always adjust after I'm all done with outlining. But I'm going to create my outline using this profile They've created. Now here you'll see I cannot, um, I kind of have to eyeball that little area right there, but let's do um, an arc. And we'll go right here and we will make sure we get that arc the best that we can. And then we also want to do another arc, which And then we'll go back to our line tool. We'll go red, and then we'll go down. So it takes a little bit of practice, but as you work through this, you'll decide how perfect you want it. Okay, now that I've drawn that, I'm going to move this out of my way so that I can look at it. Now you'll see I have not created my face. Sounds pretty close, right? Well, why is that? That typically means there's a line that is not connected. And I can see right here, 
that this corner did not meet up with this corner. Easy enough, I put a little line there, and now I have my face. My next thing I want to do is I want to select all of it, right click and make that a group. Now I can rotate it up and I can use that over and over in every room to create the baseboard within my space. And that will really help your 3D model really have those finishing touches that you're looking for. So this concludes this quick SketchUp tutorial on creating molding profiles in SketchUp. I wanna thank you for joining me. We cover this topic in a lot further detail and much more in our SketchUp for Beginners digital course. In addition to the course, you also get two live training sessions with a SketchUp expert, which really can help you when you're kind of stuck. Because I know online training isn't always ideal, but when you get to talk to somebody, you can work through where you might be having a problem. Now you can get a sneak peek of that course on our website, which I gave you the link below. That's www.behindthedesignco.com. And I've also included that below. Now, while you're on our website, you can sign up for free access to our library of SketchUp tips and tutorials. Um, that is completely free. And we're adding more videos every month. And as always, feel free to subscribe to our channels. We always post our videos here as well. Thank you.